Oh, hi, I'm Robin Davidson. I'm a senior lecturer with the University of Adelaide at the Business School, School of Accounting and Finance. I've been assigned to teach ethics and I use this ethics simulation that's provided by an external provider. It's an American website. It's called Ethics. Alex is the name of the website. And they have a number of simulations there that do like marketing and accounting and different things. But they've got this one ethics one that um, I use. When I took over teaching this course back in 2009 and I realised I had to teach ethics for the first time and it's only because it's a financial accounting course so it's only one week of the course. It's primarily about interpreting and applying accounting standards but somewhere in the accounting course they had to allocate someone to get the ethics message across and the original lecture was very much, this is when I inherited the course, was very much around the, the, the content from the textbook, very theoretical, and they would also do a, a case study, sort of working through a decision model where you gave them a scenario and they had to make a decision using one of those you know, six-step decision models. Uh, that was a mid-semester test. And what I found was all the answers I got were very similar, uh, pretty much modelled on the, the question we did in the tutorial. I don't know that the students are really learning much here. They're really just memorising this question and giving it back to me. It all seemed a bit pointless. Uh, and that's when I look, started looking, you know, what else could I do? And I came across this simulation. So while it's not about making decisions in a financial sense, it is about making decisions that any accountant or manager would have to make and it gives them exposure to these real life decisions they'll have to make. They're told at the start that you're the production manager and you're responsible for production and profit and you get a bonus um, based on your profit so their decisions affect their bonus but there's also all these other stakeholder groups, the employees and the parents lobby group and um, different you know, the customers and that they have to consider as well. So when they make these decisions, they have to think about you know, how does this affect all these people. So they're not playing against each other. It's just strictly what would you do given this situation. Admittedly, part of the simulation is you get a score at the end and you get awarded a bonus, um, make thousands of dollars with a bonus, but it doesn't make any difference to the result. It goes, and I make that quite clear to them. I don't want them making the decisions based on what will make the most profit or what score, what would Robin do in this situation? It's what would you do? And then you have to justify why you did that as well. If I was a student, I'd find that a lot more interesting than uh, as far as ethics goes, sort of reading about you know, the theory behind ethics and that sort of thing. And I've looked at, um, so I'm not teaching first year accounting here now, but I was looking um there's, a, there's another one on that same website for accounting and it's about adjusting entries. You know, if I was teaching first-year accounting, I'd be looking at introducing something like that perhaps. Yeah, I, I find it runs really smoothly and then at the end of the, after the due date, I can just download a report, which is just an Excel spreadsheet with all the details of the students' responses okay. and then and I just allocate the marks from there.